Let's talk about Minecraft server hosts. Server hosts are important. You need them to host your Minecraft worlds and play with your friends, but they also need to make money. You have to understand that these people are companies. At the end of the day, they need to make a profit, and the easiest way for them to do this is to host as many people on the same machines as they can. And for a server like Minerva, we're very intensive and we need a powerful computer for a reasonable price, and we need reliability. Our previous host was Fluctus Hosting, and they were pretty good. For a very reasonable price, they could offer very powerful machines that were very reliable, and they were up most of the time. However, throughout our experience, throughout the year that we used them, I think I contacted their email support about 100 times. This is not good. A perfect host means that you will never have to contact them for any inquiries, and it should run as well as it did when you first bought it. Over time, Fluctus began to do some pretty shady things. They would in fact shut down our server by hand, completely stop us from using it, if the CPU usage was over 90%. This is the worst case scenario for us because we're basically always running at 90%, at least on their machines, and so we need this powerful machine. We bought a $204 server, 6 gigs of RAM for an entire year, and now we can't even use it because Fluctus won't let us use what we need to use. And thus begins the great server hunt. We needed affordability, about 4 gigs of RAM, and we needed them to be powerful. Above all, we needed reliability. And who's more reliable and reputable than Cubetoast? So, Im immediately, I held a donation between all the Minerva members, and we raised $232 in less than 24 hours. So we were set. This was the perfect amount of money that we needed to get just about 6 months of a 4 gigabyte RAM premium Cubetoast server. However, we decided to do a little bit more research after I was contacted by a man named Major. With his help, I learned a ton about server hosting, exactly how it works, what they look for, what they do, and we went into a lot of research. We tested Vulture, Minecraft Hosting Pro, Minecraft Pro Hosting, and finally we tried Cantabo. And by tried, I mean we bought one month subscriptions just to see if it would work out, uploaded the Minerva world and realized that the TPS was... <coughs> they couldn't handle it. So, we finally tried GG Servers, which for their prices was about a fourth of cubed host. We could get 4 gigs of RAM premium hosting for 24 bucks a month. And we tried it. We tried exactly one month because I was so impressed with our little beta test and the TPS was... In a perfect Minecraft server, the TPS should be at 20 all the time. And so this just wasn't cutting it and it was time for a change. We even considered VPS hosting. So one of the hosts that I mentioned was Cantabo Hosting, which was suggested to me by a friend named Jaffe. And when I emailed them my inquiries about what we would need, they basically told me straight up that it wouldn't work. You can see the email on the screen now of exactly what they thought our workload would do. We wanted to try Cantabo because their prices were so phenomenally low, and after emailing them, I think I understand why. What they're likely doing is overcrowding their CPUs, where they're hosting hundreds of servers on the same processor. When a lot of different servers are trying to use one CPU, they're basically fighting for time, and this can drastically decrease the power of the CPU, and that's not good. A perfect Minecraft world would probably be hosted on a dedicated system, but these are far more expensive than our budget, so we had to go with something like a typical Minecraft host. And to conclude, I present to you the host that we finally decided to go with, Cubed Host. You can see that it's running the laggiest area in our world at a perfect 20 TPS, above or below, <laughs> with two people online, and I can assure you that under more load with seven or eight people on, everybody in different areas doing different things, this server keeps up. This is by far the laggiest area in our world because we've got about 4,000 tile entities in here, including hoppers and chests and item frames and different things, and then when it's sorting, you've got hundreds of entities, and it runs amazingly. I hope you enjoyed my little recap on our server host. I tried to I tried to change it up just a little bit, make a little bit more movie style, a little bit more fast paced, and I wanted to explain kind of the history and trial and error that we went through in finding this host. It took about a month of research, and I think we're finally going to decide on our original decision of cubed host. So time wasted? I think not. We learned a lot about server hosts and who offers the best prices, and I say best meaning there are definitely low prices for powerful machines that just aren't going to do what you need them to. For example, GG servers did actually perform moderately well, but the the time the downtime was bad. There was about two days in a row where it just went down and nobody could do anything, and then there were times where the server just performed amazingly poor, and there was no explanation for this and we couldn't understand why. So, I think I'm happy to say that we're going with Cubetoast. While it is more expensive, it's far more reputable, more 
reliable, it's more powerful, and they give you a pretty good discount anyway if you purchase for it six months. So I hope you enjoyed my little server, server talk movie, and uh, stay tuned for more on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't, click the bell for notifications, and if you want to support these kinds of videos, my Patreon is linked below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.